Alrighty, here we are on, I think it's Thursday, December 13th, 2018. It's now 4.11 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio, and we have a new gadget here. <laughs> We're trying the Skywatcher AZ GTI a telescope mount with a uh, L bracket on it for a camera, and I think I have it aligned now for the moon over here in the southeast sky Oops. try to brighten it up a bit and it should be keeping the moon in place I do believe there's not much to see here I need to get some video of the uh gadget the the telescope mount it's not uh, an equatorial mount I could rig one up if I get a wedge and update the firmware but uh, so far I don't believe I'm going to but anyway so let's go out now I'm touching the camera because I didn't bring the remote out here and move the shutter speed now let's go over towards where the, whoops, I mean, it's on six speed. Put it up to nine so we go faster. It's a noisy bugger, but. Now huh. yeah, let me change that shutter speed more. And let me see, go down. And from this position, we can't really see the sun, just a glare there. But with this app, then if I pushed where uh, Saturn should be, if that alignment was right for the moon, go to. And basically, that's where Saturn should be if we could see it. Let's go back to the moon. And see if it lined back up, and it did. Cool. Well, hello there, everybody. Here we are on Thursday evening, December 13th, 2018, up here in northeastern Ohio. And we finally have a break in our sky. And we're looking at a 36% lit moon over there. And we're on a new gadget, which I'm going to have to show you on in the daytime. But it's an electronic uh, telescope mount. The Skywatcher AZ GTI. <laughs> it's nice and small and light, and I have it on the uh, Benro carbon fiber tripod. Anyway, let me see here. But anyway, with this uh, telescope mount, we should be able to keep the object centered in there. I'm using an iPhone. The let me move this around a bit. Whoops, wrong way. Well, hang tight. I gotta figure this damn thing out. Urgh. I have such a hard time with the down is up and up is down with these. <laughs> with these controls. Whoops, that was me hitting the camera. Okay, so here we are, uh, zoomed in all the way. I'm not touching a tripod now, so it should be tracking it. And that will stay right in frame 
I don't have the monitor hooked up so I can't see too well. But anyway, so since we have this pretty much aligned, let's have it take us over to Mars. Okay, there we go. We finally have Mars centered. Well, kind of. <laughs> but it should be standing still instead of uh, scooting sideways or going down, that is. Now the moon's uh, down about the 5 o'clock position from Mars. There's not too much I can see out here in my light polluted sky, but that's cool. So it pretty much stayed there. Now, I'll try to go back to the moon, see if it uh, finds it. There it is. Yeah, it's a noisy bugger, but. All right, try to get it centered again, and now try to go in. Oh, dog, got it. When I push the right buttons and stuff, then the damn thing goes out of frame. So I have to play bouncy with the uh, damn controls here. <laughs> oh well. I'll figure it out. So maybe if I press the buttons and then tap it when I'm where I want to be, it'll stop moving around. I don't know. <laughs> All right, my favorite late beam area. Let me turn this upside down and see if I can work it that way. No. Okay, so we have a standing still moon now. <laughs> that's quite cool. Alrighty, I guess that'll do it for now. It's flipping cold out here, so it's probably below freezing now. I'm not sure. But, yeah, we'll show this uh, setup in the daytime. It's quite cool. A lot lighter than the... Uh, video head that I had on here. That thing was massive and <laughs> too big and bulky for this smaller camera. It couldn't counterbalance with it. Anyway, isn't that cool? It just stays right there. So someday I'll get a grip on the controls and we'll get a better video at you. So I hope everybody's doing fine. It's been ages yet again because of our weather and sky up here. So I hope wherever you are, all's right in your world. Okay, y'all take care now. It's 8.41 p.m. Good night now. <laughs>